Hi guys, it's Michelle with Farmhouse Living. And today we are talking about our mud room slash puppy room that um, we created for these little guys. Um, first off, we created it for our Aussie, our naughty Aussie who can open doors. And we needed a space for him to be safe and happy during the day when we left. We also use it as a mail drop and it's been really functional and fun. The space before was very dated, but it also had builder grade tile um, that was every color of the rainbow, green, orange, yellow. It was just really tacky. And the walls were bright canary yellow. So we came in and we knew we wanted to paint and do new flooring right away but we also weren't sure exactly how we were gonna use this space. My husband uh, loves cars, loves to tinker. I thought I might make it a build room, but then when um, Sam started misbehaving, it just naturally went that we should make it the puppy room. The idea for the built-in came from an inspiration photo I found on Pinterest. I happened to have an old wood beam and so I just went ahead and put the farm molding like I saw in the photo along with the beam as a place where we could throw all of our books and coats and everything that we come in and need to just pitch somewhere. The girls thought it would be a really fun idea to knock off the Chris Loves Julia photos of her children in um, the rec room for the dog room to blow up big photos of black and whites of the puppers and put them on the wall. And I think it makes a great statement. It was really fun and super inexpensive and so Charlie, our photographer, and Shelby did um, a white box and um, put the dogs in just fun little positions to make it um, really interesting when you come in and see our dogs. So the room incorporates several different things. We have a Dutch door because there was a return for the AC unit that was making a horrible um, sonic boom noise and it was very disturbing for the dogs. So instead of moving the return, we went ahead and put a Dutch door in so that there would be airflow. Um, and it also is fun because Sam can um, look over the top and see us when we come home. Um, it has a lock on the door so that he cannot escape though. We added a desk to the space so that we would have somewhere to drop our mail and throw our keys. And uh, we used an old piece of marble that came off of a dresser from Europe and we put two filing cabinets underneath so that it's super functional and it's just a really great space to come in and pitch all of our belongings when we come in from the garage. Our friend Alma from the Rustic Sparrow created a sign for our little feeding station for the pups and it just it makes a statement we knew we needed something on that wall and so it was the perfect piece to complete the space. All right one of the biggest questions we've had is about these little guys. This is a Cavapoo, which is half Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, half Poodle. The best breed because they don't shed and their poops are small. <laughs> so we love these guys. We have had so much fun. We've enjoyed them. We're sad to see them go, but they're going to the forever homes today. Um, so we're really thankful. We are finally finished with this space and it wasn't our first priority. It took us a while to complete. We had a lot of other things on the list, but we're finally finished and we're so excited to share it with you. We have all the links on the blog, uh, so subscribe below and say bye-bye. You know the final wrap-up part I hate? I wish you would just do that in lettering. <laughs> a lot of you have asked about these little guys. These are Cavapoo puppies. That's half Cavalier, half King Charles. No. <laughs>